In this video, I'm going to explain a couple things about this ERV. One of them is why I chose to do a completely independent and separate ductwork system for my ERV. Why I chose not to put the ERV, route it through the ductwork of my HVAC system. I had a comment on another video and this ERV system, I don't know if some people don't understand it, but right now it is the end of July and it was almost 100 degrees in Georgia. So it is sucking in up top here, 100 degree hot air, and it goes down through here and blows out into my house. Well, this over here is the return. This is pulling air up here like the cool air conditioned air in my house. It's pulling it and it crosses without touching. So it's like an X in here. The air is crossing, but not touching. Now that cool air comes here and is blown outside the house. So one person commented, why didn't I run this system through the current HVAC system ductwork and that way uh, the air could be conditioned or heated whatever depending on the season. So that's kind of the point of this video. I, I do want to say so right now as hot as it is outside when the hot air goes through here the cold air that's blowing outside it cools that air down. Now it's not really cold like coming out of the air conditioner but it's cool so let's walk into this other room uh, and this ERV is running right now I got it set up on a timer you can see the green light there it runs 12 hours a day six hours in the morning six hours in the evening got a couple videos about doing the DIY install I've also got a video about doing the timer install. This thing's been working great. It's fixed a lot of the problems we've been having with our spray foam. So let's walk over to this uh, other room here real quick. Uh, my daughter will never know that we're in her bedroom because she doesn't watch my videos. So right now, this right here, this little square vent, this is the, the vent for the ERV. Now, it, the sun's going down outside, but it's... Okay, I just looked at the Weather Channel app. It says it's 87 degrees right now. So it's 87 outside, but if you put your hand up here, I mean, you can feel it's not cold air like the air conditioner, but it's a nice, gentle flow of cool air. I mean, it's comfortable. It's definitely fresh, which is good. So the person in the comments, I, I think, I don't know if they were uh, confused or maybe misunderstood the way an ERV works. They were, I think they were thinking that if it's hot outside, this ERV, because it doesn't go through the HVAC system, it's just blowing like scorching hot outside air into the house. But that's not the case. I mean, that, that air, it feels very comfortable. Back in the attic, so that's that's the way that uh, the ERV is designed. Like when the, the air crosses paths without touching, uh, you know, the, the air that's going out, it either heats or cools up the fresh air coming in. It's supposed to help reduce energy loss and then, you know, you don't have that hot, humid air blowing right into your house. A couple reasons why I wanted to do a completely separate install. I, I thought I covered this in another video, but maybe I didn't. So we'll talk about it real quick here. Number one, uh, that's what the directions say. For this Honeywell ERV, they say that is the preferred method. Um, obviously, it's the most uh, costly or most expensive. It's also the most time consuming, uh, the most difficult to do. It took me a long time to, to do this uh, installation, but well worth it. It's working great. All right, so my house is a two-story house and I have two HVAC units, right? One for the main floor, one for upstairs. 
So there's a couple different ways you can install the ERV. You can actually hook it into the ductwork in a few different methods. But my understanding is that if you install your ERV or your HRV, you hook it into your HVAC ductwork, then every time the ERV runs, your HVAC system has to run, or at least the blower motor has to run to help move that ERV air through the HVAC ductwork. I did not want to do that. A lot of times this ERV is running, right? It runs on a timer. So a lot of times it's running, moving fresh air around the house. And these two HVAC units are not running. I'm saving energy, right? I'm saving money on the power bill. If I had this ductwork, this ERV hooked into the HVAC, every time the ERV runs, this unit would have to be running, or at least the blower motor. And now I have two systems here, one for upstairs, one for down, or the main floor. So does that mean I would have to buy two ERVs, one for each unit here or I would have to like install this thing into the ductwork of both of these units and then every time the ERV is on both of these units would have to be running so hopefully that's making sense I, I basically I wanted an independent system I don't want these HVAC units, which, you know, they, they use a lot of energy, a lot of power. They run up the power bill a pretty good bit. So I don't want them to run every time the ERV runs. This ERV here, it's only drawing about 1.4 amps, I think. Uh, it's got two DC motors in there. It uses very little power. Of course, these, these big uh, HVAC units, they are really sucking the juice down. They, they're using a whole lot of energy. Uh, that's probably one of the biggest things for my power bills, these two units here. Uh, the ERV over there, it cost me, um, I spent about $3,000 installing that. So I guess I could have saved a good bit of money by not buying all of the ductwork for the ERV and just hooking it into these units. But Eventually, I would have eaten up that savings in a higher power bill because these two HVAC units would be running all the time. Now, if I had a one-story house, like just one floor and one HVAC unit, you know, that might be easier because then you just tie your ERV into that one HVAC unit. But again, that ERV alone was $1,100. I, I did not want to buy 1100 for this one and 1100 for that one and then they run separate so this one here uh, you know I've got it ducked through the main floor and the upstairs uh, that one there is a 150 CFM unit which is plenty big for my little house another reason I'll throw in here why I wanted the completely independent duct work for the ERV is because of the location for the the vents, where I want the vents blowing the air and also pulling the air. If you watch my DIY install video, I actually removed a couple of my bath fans in the, the upstairs bath, my kids bath, and the, the master bathroom. I pulled the bath fans out of there and I hooked the ERV into there. So it's always pulling that moist air out or humid air, whatever. You know, I got one of the returns where it's pulling air out of the laundry room. I've got one in the kitchen. Uh, I wanted multiple returns. Returns is where it's pulling air out of the house, going to the ERV. I've got them all over the house in a few different locations. And I wanted specific locations where I wanted it pulling that air out. If I hooked it into the duct system, I couldn't put the returns really where I, I would just have to put the returns and the vents wherever the duct system was. You know, I, I couldn't, I'm kind of picky. I'm very picky about things. So I was specific, like I had an idea where I wanted the air blowing from the ERV and where I wanted it pulling out of the house. 
you know, when you hook it into your HVAC system, there's a couple different ways you can do it. I mean, one is just completely use the returns and the vents, the supply for the HVAC, or you can just use the supply where it's blowing through your HVAC ductwork, and then you make like one return, like in a hallway or something, like, like one large return, pulling air out of the house and then blowing through your HVAC. And probably not making any sense with this rambling, but to me it makes sense. I don't want just one return. I wanted it pulling air out of very specific locations like the bathrooms, the laundry room, the kitchen. Hopefully this video is going to help somebody. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.